Oh, is it better now? Hello? It's better now. Yeah, it's better. Well, fuck my asshole. <laughs> Luckily, that was, uh, that was there before a bunch of people got in. That never happened, by the way. That never happened. That never happened. <laughs> ah! That never happened. That never happened there. That never actually happened. I was just, I was just playing around with you guys. You know me. I'm a goofball. I like playing around with you all. I was I was. Listen, I wasn't. I I didn't do it on purpose. Okay. All right. I see. I see what the audience is like right now. You know. Y'all y'all trying to like get out of here. Okay. We all make mistakes sometimes, and that's what we do. Uh, I don't think YouTube really notifies about streams until, like, a few minutes into it. So, like, this is sort of the dead period right now. Uh, usually, YouTube tells me when they, like, as soon as they ping out the stream. Uh, they they don't YouTube streams don't get pinged out immediately. I think they don't get pinged out immediately because, like, sometimes, like, a, like a streamer will try to, like, do something and they may get DDoSed. So, like, or... or Something stupid will happen. So don't just tell anybody this. Or they just wait. I don't know. It's YouTube, dog. They want to turn They want to turn down the dislike button, man. They want to turn down the dislike button, dude. God damn. God damn. Well, until the meantime, while everyone comes out over here, okay? Until the mean... Until... It, what? China's got their own YouTube. Oh, man. I know where I'm switching to. I know where I'm switching. You guys know that? They've got Billy Billy now. You guys want to? You guys want to switch to China YouTube? I think we're gonna have to go there, boys and girls. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to go to China YouTube. You guys want? You guys want to switch to China YouTube? You guys want to go to Billy Billy? Who's down? Who's down to watch some Billy Billy right now? You guys want to watch Billy Billy content? Is that really like? A, that, that can't be. Oh my God! It actually is. It actually is. What the fuck? Oh, dude, there's straight porn on this. There's straight. I think there's porn. I don't know if I can show you the screen, guys. I don't know if I can show you the screen. <laughs> am I going to do a video? I am going to do a video on the Cyberpunk patch. Probably next week, because I'm still playing through a bit of it. Uh, Kermit, dead aside, when, until you come on stream. What? Guys, I don't know. There, It looks like there's almost, like, fucking hentai almost here. Like, it's cartoons, but I need to, like, scrub through it real quick so that there's no, like, fucking titties or anything. Oh, they've got Genshin Impact gameplay or something. That Okay, that doesn't have boobs in it. That doesn't have titties. All right, let's see some Chinese YouTube, guys. Let's fucking, let's watch this shit. This is Chinese YouTube, okay? This is, like, fucking where it's at. Thank you, Shamik, for love from Australia. Bling Bling wants to, wants to give the four ninety nine there. Okay, all right, let's make this happen, okay? Let's watch this. <laughs> okay, okay, buddy. Okay, well, I gotta, I gotta hear that intro again. I gotta hear that intro again. That was like, on you, Plex. By the way, your video is not lagging. This website is lagging. By the way. <laughs> oh man. What the fuck is up here? I feel like this is pretty common in um, I feel like this is pretty common in Asian streams. Like I've seen it in like. I've seen it a couple times. It just got like text and letters flying across. What? Yo, that's part of something else. What? Yo, Billy Billy lets you comment on the video as it's happening? What? What? Bro, that's even better. Yo, YouTube, you're getting fisted right now. Yo, what? Dude, this is an epic website. Oh my God, they have like better features. I got to see the comments here. I got to see all the comments, dude. Bro, they got level systems in here? No way. No fucking way. Look at that. Look at that. They got level four users and they've got level six users. What do you, what the fuck you got to do to level up on this website? Is that how they calculate subscribers? It's literally like we have level six. Yo, dude, you literally have a class system in this. What the actual hell? This is awesome, dude. Dude, this is the best thing in the world. Wait, am I on Billy Billy? I got to see like. Fat Indian dude. Is that going to be on Billy Billy? Let's see if that actually is on Billy Billy. I cannot find myself on Billy Billy. Dude, you got to understand. This is like top 10 fucking play. Dude, I have a Billy Billy channel? No fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. I got a Billy Billy channel? 
I'm all fucking Billy Billy, boys. What's with the new setup? Nah, I'm actually moving. I got a new place, by the way. Um, I don't know if I can show you all, like, pictures of it on stream, because it's, like, an entirely new fucking place, but, like, I don't want to get, like, fucking doxxed or anything, but uh, I kind of should. Thank you, Adam Blair, and thank you, Ash Ash, for the 40, dude. Glad you're doing well. I'm glad I'm doing well right there. Look, I'm on here, okay? Shit. That's my fucking video. That's my motherfucking video right here. That's my video. Hello, guys and gals. That's me on fucking Billy Billy! What?! What? Oh my god. Oh my fu- Oh my fucking god. Oh my lord. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus, thank you. <laughs> that's me. That's- that's me. I don't know if I can- I don't know if I can show you, like, the place, because if I show you the place, like, there's gonna be some dude on, like, Zillow or something, or they'll, like, backtrace the images somehow, and it's gonna be like, ugh. I don't know. Yeah, but I'm moving, so I'm moving hopefully in the next couple months, to be honest with you. Uh, we're trying to sell my place right now, so it's a, it's a big problem. I'm not a fuck- Okay, can we stop saying celebrity? I am not a celebrity, okay? Do you understand that? I am not famous. I am a fat Indian 4chaner. Alright, do you understand that? You get that, audience? I'm some fat Indian 4chaner. We gotta get that shit right, okay? That's how it breaks. It's so cringe. It's not true, okay? I'm some fat Indian 4chaner, dude. God damn. There's nothing famous. Internet celebrity. You know how cringy that thing is, too? You know how cringy it is to, like, be an internet celebrity? Nice man utters I got. Do I have man utters? Damn straight, I got a little man to the action going. Damn straight. By the way, can we, uh, what's going on with James Charles lately, bro? Holy shit, that dude... God damn. Before I continue to anything, bro, what the fuck is going on here? Why is it that every, like, day I sign on to Twitter, like, somebody ends up being a fucking groomer, dude? Somebody literally becomes a fucking groomer. <laughs> like, why is it that every time I go on Twitter, why is it that every time I connect to the internet, somebody's talking to underage kids? Okay? Like, what the fuck, man? You know the easiest thing in my life that I don't have to do? <laughs> Is be a groomer. Like, that's the easiest thing in my life. Like, I wake up every day of my life, and, like, never do I have to fight the urge to not groom. <laughs> like, what the fuck, man? Like, literally, I wake up, like, my eyes open, alright? Like, I have my phone in my hand, and it's like, I don't have to fight the, the urge to not groom, alright? Like, it's not like I have to hold my hands like, don't go moderate on Discord. Like, I don't have to do that shit, man. What the hell? <laughs> That's insanity, bro. It's like you it's like you go on you go on YouTube and there's always like some dude, some dude grooming someone, man. Fuck man. What do you think about the Myanmar descending into civil war? Dude, I, I I'm a I'm not politic I'm not a political streamer. That's not my thing. Uh I have been kinda keeping up with the Myanmar thing. That shit's shit's fucked up. It's weird out there, man. It's kind of a little fucked up. I hope the I hope the people get better because I don't I don't wanna like the last thing I want is for people to get hurt, and in that situation, it seems like that's eventually going to be happening. Kirby Fan 64 drama? No, I don't know. The Kirby fans. What is Kirby Fan 64? I feel like I'm about to come across some drama where some dude ripped off some guy's fucking Mario Maker shit. And that's what happened. Like, who, dude, who's Kirby Fan 64? Like, what the fuck is this drama? What is Kirby? Dude, I feel like you're trolling me. Like, I feel like you're fucking trolling me. Like, what the fuck? What is Kirby fan, dude? What is- <laughs> I feel like I'm laughing at it, but it's probably something hyper serious. Make the switch to Billy Billy. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm gonna be the first Billy Billy guy. I'm gonna switch there. Watch me- I'm gonna take over Billy Billy, dude. YouTubers be shaken, they see a teenager. Dude, it's like, I don't get it! I don't get it! I don't fucking get it! Look at that. I love how, like, this news site is called fucking Vulture, by the way. Can we just be real? Bro, they called their new site Vulture, all right? They called themselves Vulture, of all things, okay? Like, like literally, you can't see it, but I'll open the whole thing. It's fucking Vulture, dude. They called themselves Vulture, boys. Like, they have no shame. They don't care, okay? They don't care. <laughs> Thank you, Karte. Like, they know. They know, they know they're pointless. They know it's not. Look at the category. Extremely online. Touch grass. 
touch grass, guys. Come on. <laughs> what the? Back in 2016, a New York high school student casual. Why am I? Why, why am I doing that? That's too cringe. God damn! They got a fucking calendar sheet of this. Charles' first taste of backlash was when he posted racist tweets about Africa and the Ebola virus. Whoa, 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 I gotta see these. What the hell? He posted some racist shit? What? What the f- Wait a minute. I can't- Wait, I, I gotta- I gotta screen this for the racism. Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Can't believe we're going- so What if I- What if we go- <laughs> Wait. Wait. Wait, what? What? I don't- I don't know what this is. I don't know- I don't know what this is, man. <laughs> what? This is like Tumblr level racism. <laughs> what? I can't. I don't know if I can show it to you. There's not. A, there's no guys. There's no n words. There's nothing like that. Okay. It's like, okay. He related the term Africa and like the Ebola virus. So uh, that's enough, right? And then like somehow Chipotle got tossed. Dude, what? <laughs> what? What is this? You can get. Okay, whatever. Whatever. I'm. I'm just. I'm just gonna leave. I. I can't show it to you. I. It, dude. It's so lukewarm. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. It's like. I don't get it. <laughs> what is Tumblr racism? It's like. Tumblr racism is one. Is like. It's like the most. It's like. It's like racism that's so like. It, I don't. You can. I don't know if you can even quantify it as racism, right? Like. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you on the racist like poll, okay? The racist statement poll that I've made, okay? There's slash poll. You never go to like. You guys ever go to four chan poll? Like politically incorrect. I'm gonna say that ninety percent of four chaners, are like, like ninety percent of four chaners. Um. Uh, just meme, right? Like they like they say a bunch of wild shit for the memes, but then you got the ten percent of four chaners that are like, "Oh my god, honey, do you hear that? Wow, it's like it's like it's like all that racist stuff I've been saying is validated. Look at these guys, honey, come over here. I told you we're number one. Like you got all those losers on four chan, <laughs> and it's not really the wife. It's like more of his like mom, you know." And then you got Tumblr shit where it's like, you sneezed? Well, I guess you just, I guess you just plain don't like, you know, I guess you just plain don't like people for, uh, of color, you know, just right there. Like, this is the most outlandish. Like, I'll show you the thing right here. It's like, fucking, this is apparently what he said. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to Africa. What if we get Ebola, James? What? I don't, I don't, I don't. Like, it's such a dude. It's so cringe. Like, dude, dude, James is cringe. <laughs> That's so cringe. I don't get it. It's like, it's like, wh that's so cringe. It's so cringe. Like, you guys understand that? It's so cringe. It's like, I don't even get it. It's like, it's like saying, yeah, guys, let's go, let's go down to Illinois and get tuberculosis. Oh, we could have gotten that at KFC. Like, what? <laughs> what, what are you, what are you saying? <laughs> it's like, they can't make a joke. I don't get it. I love you for being so swag. Thanks, Stanley. It's like, it's so cringe, man. <laughs> I don't get it. So like, okay, I, got, I gotta be real here. All right, let's, let's go look through some of this, some of this shit. Oh man, it's a, it's a deaf noodles post, man. He's always... Oh, <laughs> 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 Buckos, what? Look at that. James Charles, they lied about their age. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, Pe people are people are entering like lawsuit territory here, dude. God damn. God damn. <laughs> is always right oh dude I, I don't know if we got the right poll dude i don't know if we got the right poll i used to go on all these like discussions on polls and just like straight up post a cock i was like all right boys ended the whole discussion right there <laughs> what is this dude <laughs> oh man 
Yo, Eason's going ham. Look at Eason here. Damn, dude. Eason straight up James Charles is a predator. I'm just trying to get his name trending, y'all. Let's go. Damn, dude. Damn. <laughs> damn. Damn, dude. Ethan's going ham. God damn. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> they don't even care, dude. They don't even care anymore. God damn it. I, I gotta be real with you. I'm very impressed right now, dude. The in internet, internet's fucked up. Internet's fucked up. By the way, this website, for those of you who don't know, is called Film Daily. You guys want to see what Film Daily does? Let's see what Film Daily is all about. Oh, shit, guys. Look, dude, you got to understand. This is like, this is, you know, when the meme touching grass comes out, I want you to realize this is, if you're actually reading these, you should probably touch grass, okay? All right. Is TV host Wendy Williams the queen of memes? I don't know. I don't know. Let me ask the queen <laughs> of memes if that's like, what is this dog shit, dude? Dude, like, I, I don't know if I could tolerate anybody doing this. Like, I, I just can't. I just can't. I can't do it. It's too much. It's too much. It's too. And then you got Vulture. Dude, it's literally a site called Vulture. It's like a site called fucking Vulture, dude. What is this? Britney Spears says she felt embarrassed by a New York Times documentary. Powerpuff Girls live action CW remake gets a dose of Donald Faison. I've never heard the name Donald Faison. I feel like I feel like I'm missing something, dude. I I don't want to say anything bad about journalists, okay? All right, I don't want to I don't want to make fun of journalists, guys. All right, that's I think that's messed up, okay? All right, make 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 making fun of the challenge is not something that I allow on this channel. All right, at all. I don't think we should make make fun of them journalists. All right, Jesus Christ, that's that's not that's not something I tolerate at all. Okay, all right, make making <laughs> making fun of the brain dead is not something I allow. <laughs> God, I hate them. Oh shit. No, you know, you know what sucks about being journalists now? Like there's legitimate journalists out there that put their time, effort and fucking everything to journalism, right? Like you got to understand, like, you know, all those journalists that go to like dangerous parts of the world and cover some crazy shit and journalists that like really put a thousand percent into writing really, really thoughtful articles, but nobody reads the articles like nobody's interested because the other journalist comes in and it's like this TikTok showed their asshole. Uh, let's, let's really analyze what this says about society. I played Among Us and I almost lost my sanity. <laughs> All right. Among Us could potentially be, believe it or not, racist. That's what you got to deal with, right? Like that's, that's journalism now. Like I'd say like a good fucking chunk of journalists who think they're real journalists are just giant fucking memes. But then there, it just makes, it just makes the whole thing look fucking bad. While this Jacob's like journalism kind of kind of cringe. You right. Thank you, Fish Tank Forever and Jambo. Among Us, bro. Fucking Among Us, dude, of all things. But you know what journalism doesn't cover? Arabic halal ghost hunting, guys. The greatest content to ever exist on fucking YouTube. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care. Alright? Look 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 at this. Look at this chunky Indian dude. Fucking loving Arabic ghost hunting. Let's watch it. I watched the Arabic ghost hunting. <laughs> alright, it's fifty it's fifteen minutes of straight Arab adventures. Alright, you guys ready? Assalamu alaikum Pyari viewers, to kaise hai aap, sir? Oh dude, I can translate this. Okay. Aaj ki video, Arabic ghost hunters par hone okay, you see her? You see that? It, I'm sorry, that's not really a ghost. That's what we in the medical business call a crackhead. I'm sorry guys. If you see that, you get the fuck up out of there. <laughs> She ready. <laughs> Yo, she's like getting up to stab you. Run. Right. I'm not gonna. I not like or share. I not like or share. I not like or share. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. It's it's Abdullah. Abdullah's back. I would I would literally suck this dude's cock. 
I'm not even memeing. Like, if you guys are going to be like, oh, that's a little sus, Muda. Bro, that guy's the ultimate ghost hunter. If he comes across, like, a ghost... If he comes across the ghost Sinaloa cartel, he yells Allahu Akbar and runs right the fuck in there. I was banned off for Among Us for saying black looking kind of sus. That's a racist. Bro, people get turned... People get, twi people get like, tinged to everything. जहां पर जब वो इस लोकेशन के अंदर दाखिल होता है तो किसी जानिब से कुछ गिरने की आवाज आती है जिसे वो सुनकर उसकी जान ही बढ़ता है लेकिन वहां पर कुछ भी नहीं होता या आई मीन ओके बाय द वे ऑल राइट आई रिमेंबर देयर वाज लाइक वन डूड हुज लाइक देयर वाज लाइक एक्चुअली सम सम मफकर्स आउट देयर अफेंडेड अ लिटिल बिट दैट आई 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 मेक फन ऑफ इंडियन पीपल बाय यूजिंग आवर आवर लैंग्वेज गाइस आई रियली हेट ट्विटर आई रियली हेट फकिंग motherfuckers that go to starbucks they they order a they order a venti latte and they think that they can tell me that i'm being offensive to my own kind i have people who said you only use the hindi language to make fun of your own kind what the fuck kind of stupidity is that all right can we can we just nip this in the ass right here all right that's so racist as shit to tell me that i'm making fun of my own kind by using my language like first off all right You suck because you can't even speak my language. Right? Get out of here. Pe people out here, dude, on the internet. People out in real life. Motherfuckers need to touch some goddamn grass. <laughs> Now, I can't understand Arabic, okay? So I'm not going to be able to translate that. Bismillah. Bismillah. He's about to rush. 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 That's like a fucking cat, bro. Clear black entity. Okay. What do I think about the prism? I always talk about it in those security videos, man. It's a fucking weird surveillance system. You guys want to know what I'd really... I'd love to play airsoft in this kind of a place, man. I think there's a lot of like abandoned places in in like in 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 these Arab parts of the world that I just love to airsoft and dude. Shit. यहां पर एक बार फिर से वही ब्लैक एंटिटी उसके कैमरा में कैप्चर होती है जिसे अनफॉर्चूनेटली इस बार Bro you're getting spied on by a crackhead. Run. <laughs> Confirm there's a lot of people uh, who get triggered when people don't speak hot dog and gluten-free french fries. I breathe. Uh, I know. Courtney's like nip that in the colon. Oh, yeah. He's like bismillah Rahman he runs in right there. Come on Abdullah you got this. It's so weird. He doesn't have a taser or a gun or anything. He just straight goes for it. Like, what the fuck does it matter, dude? He just rushes. Dude, just rushes. Bro, did you seriously not circled in red? I saw that. Didn't didn't seem like a. See, I'm telling you, it's a crackhead. Ashton Fishnet boy, thank you. The hell was that? What did she say? This it sounded like a fucking Pokemon cry. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> oh man. That sound dude, that's an animal. That's an animal or a crackhead. It's not a human being. It's an advanced crackhead. पर कोई चीज इस दीवार के पीछे से उसे झांकती है जो एक ही पल में पीछे भी हो जाती है थैंक यू फ्रेडरिक उसे देखने के लिए आगे की जानी पड़ता है मैन आई डोंट वांट टू गेट इनटू दैट बिल अबाउट एयरसॉफ्ट बीइंग बैंड आई डोंट वांट टू गेट इनटू गन कंट्रोल दैट शिट्स सच अ हेडेक ऑफ एन आर्गुमेंट आई डोंट इवन वांट टू टॉक अबाउट इट आई डोंट वांट आई डोंट इवन वांट टू गिव अ स्टेटमेंट ऑन दैट बुलशिट आई जस्ट वांट टू वाच गोस्ट वीडियोस डूड जेम्स ब्लैक थैंक यू Of course he rushes. Who gonna? Uh, yeah, who's gonna rush? Who's gonna fuck with him? I'm telling you, this guy doesn't fuck around. He's like legit serious into this bullshit. Here, let's go here. Wait, he doesn't notice it? He didn't notice that thing? What's up with these people not noticing like ghostly app? Like wh what? Bro, come on. What are you out to lunch? How do you not notice that? What kind of like what kind of what kind of fail at perception do you do that you don't notice that? 
Come on now. Come on. Doug is like, how do you not notice that? What kind of perception check did you fail in life? Rome make black entity move hoti hai, jo clear uske camera mein capture ho jati hai. Lekin unfortunately, wo khud usse notice nahi karta. Doug, he's insane. All right, let's go to this one. This is by Ihab Qasmeya. What's with these dudes like? <laughs> React to any scary comp video? Yeah, no, this is the scary shit, dude. This is it. Whoa, whoa, ghost vids? Whoa. Let me, let me, let me check this one out there, boys. All right, ghost vids. You know when they spell vids with a Z? It's looking good. Ghost vids. The only really freaky or sort of paranormal thing I've ever experienced were dreams of my deceased mom, but those were good dreams. Oh, well, shit, man. That got, that got, that got pretty heavy. <laughs> Hope you rest in peace, brother. Top bike. God bless wherever she's at. This is ghost vids. All right, boys. All right, boys, you're about to enter the world where no man has cringed before. Let me let me open up a new private window. I normally don't even do this, even if it's for porn, but for this, I think I have to. All right, this is uh, this is ghost vids. All right, let me just put the dark theme on there. Yeah, you guys excited to see some ghost vids? Five scary videos that will force you to subscribe. Oh my god. Okay, guys, these are five videos. They're gonna force me to survive. Are you ready? You guys ready for it? This is gonna force me to subscribe. I would love to elab. I would love to collab with like NNA Productions and Eli and everyone. You know, honestly though, like how, how are they doing these days? Let me just see what they're up to. I'd actually love to collaborate with them. I feel like their content wasn't on the point of like really malicious. It was just, it was just me. Like, I wouldn't mind collaborating. This, this is fine. This is fine. I actually wouldn't mind collaborating with it. This, this wouldn't be bad. Eating fried chicken, eating Wendy's bacon, egg, and hot dog. That's not so bad. You know, I gotta be real with you. Like, 100%. When it comes to Eli So Cray and, uh, and NNA Productions, I don't think they're negative bad people. You know what I mean? Like, they're not bad people. Sure, the content they make is pretty cringe. But I don't think they're, like, maliciously hurting anybody, right? Like, at the end of the day, like, I don't think... Like, at the end of the day, I don't think this is bad, right? Like, do not order the Thomas the Tank engine at 3 a.m. Oh my god, he actually came to my house. It's it's kind of just funny, right? Like, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just cringy, funny shit for the wholesome of... For the sake of it. They're not doing anything that I would consider to be evil or bad or anything of the sort, right? Like this one. Do not drink Among Us potion at 3 a.m. Oh my god, I turned into Among Us. Like, it's not like it's evil, you know? It's just cringy, I think, is what it is. So I don't, I don't really... I I'd actually wouldn't mind collaborating with these guys. I think... I think at the end of the day, they're not they're not evil people. They're not, like, siphoning money out of children. You know what I mean? You know, they're not... They're not... They're not faking life events or things like that. I feel like they're they're okay. I think you're fine. Who cares? It's like, dude, Eli Socre made a video about having sex with Pennywise the Clown and drowning Peppa Pig. I don't care what anyone says. That dude's funny as hell. Nova, you don't have to donate 20 pounds or whatever you, uh, just because you use Adblock. I don't care if you guys use Adblock on videos, okay? I'm going to be real and upfront with you guys. Uh, I actually made a video promoting Adblock. There's a lot of weird ads and a lot of weird malware that kicks in through that shit. So I don't actually, I actually support if you guys want to use Adblock. I know ads are annoying. So if you want to use ads on Adblock on my channel, go fucking for it. I really don't care. Like at the end of the day, you don't have to feel bad and tell me anything. Just go for it if you have to, okay? If that's, if that's, if that's what makes your viewing experience on my videos better, just use Adblock, okay? Like it's fine. Anytime I have to like make a video that's expensive, I'll usually slap on a sponsor to it. Just if you need to use, just fucking use it. I don't care. Like, I don't care. Like at the end of the day, the money isn't an important factor. All right. As much as it is making the content and having you guys enjoy the content. And that's pretty much what it is. Like there's a lot of videos I make that perform like fucking dog shit. And I don't care because I enjoy making the content and that's what it is. Like some of my videos do really fucking well. Some of my videos do really fucking shit, but I can assure you every single video I enjoy making, okay? 
and I won't make a video if I don't fucking enjoy it, all right? If I ever talk about, like, weird drama that maybe doesn't... It's because I actually am into that. You do, you do realize why I didn't make any video on, like, fucking Carson and all these people? Because it was just something I wasn't comfortable with. You guys ever... Do you guys know why I made those makeup drama videos? Because they were fucking funny, okay? The makeup community is a lol cow of itself. I'm always gonna fucking laugh at it. Oh, yeah, that is true. They did the Etika thing, man. I don't know. It's fucked up. Maybe they learned. Who knows? Fucking bullshit. I'm just saying, all right? All things aside, back it off. Let's, let's, let, it doesn't matter. You don't have to fucking, I, listen, don't let any creator make you feel like shit for using Adblock, okay? All right? Okay, now listen, ads are great to support a creator, but if any creator outright tells you you're a piece of shit because you use ad block and they tell you that you're stealing from them, you should tell them, uh, go fuck yourself. I'm going to run ad block. Okay, thank you, Taha Siddiqui. I appreciate you, big boy. Thank you. Decent's like a watch ass support. Well, it's up to your choice. I, I appreciate it. But if any, any creator makes you feel like shit, just tell them to go eat ass. All right. Five goals caught on camera. This brought to you by Ghost Bits. Okay, let's go. So these, this is gonna make me fucking for. What are my thoughts on James Charles? Uh, like I said earlier, guys, I think I think James Charles, since he's talking to minors, listen, this is actually a really serious point. Before I go into this video, okay, this is. I know there's people in this fucking like video who are young. Like some of y'all are really fucking young right now in this video. Like some of y'all are probably like 12, 13, right? Do not get involved with creators, okay? Don't do it. Do not get involved with... Guys, be fucking careful on the internet, okay? If there's any creator out there that's, like, creeping on you or, like, flirting with you, just stop, okay? You need... You just just run away from them. Go to somebody you trust. That is not a situation you want to fucking be in, okay? And please do not... Some of y'all that are really young, please do not send any, any, any imagery of yourself... Because that's also a federal crime. But I'm just saying, just don't do it. Don't get involved with people. Just don't. And if you're a creator, guys, just stop it. Okay? Like, just chill out. <laughs> if you're like 20, if you're 23, if you're 25 and you want to get involved with a creator in a healthy fashion, sure, go for it. But I mean, like, when it, when it gets to the point where, like, you have, like, genuinely, like, 16-year-olds, like, 17, like, 15, like, guys. It's, it's, just don't. <laughs> I don't know. I, I feel like I feel like the excuses are wearing really thin. Like, I didn't know that person's age. James, how fucking hard is it to check someone's identification? Like, at this point, it's not even a joke anymore. James, how hard is it to ask somebody for fucking identification? How hard is it to ask somebody for, like, the basic, basic checkup on their age? Like, he's got to understand, that is the, that is the dumbest shit that you can do. Because, James, when you're out there sending, like, explicit photos of yourself to somebody that's a minor... You have to understand, that's a federal crime, okay? Like, that is a federal fucking crime. Like, James can actually go to prison. James can actually go to prison for sending an, uh, like, underage photo, like, a photo of himself to an underage minor. Like, you're a fucking idiot. Okay, just stop it. Like, how hard is it for this guy to find actual, like, dick around him? Like, you don't have to go online and creep on, like, Snapchat and all these tools. It's just so dumb. Like, it's so fucking stupid, dude. It's like, dude's got a career and everything, and it's like, what? what is wrong with you, man? Are you eating and sleeping well after sur- I am absolutely eating and sleeping well. I actually finally was able to have, like, good food uh, a couple days ago. I uh, went to my mom's, and she made some pretty good stuff. Tell me where to go for university in Ontario, Comp Sci. I mean, Waterloo's good. Start off at a college, man. Don't go to university directly, guys. Start off at a community college and then direct entry. It'll save you a lot of fucking money. If you go to university first year, it's the ultimate waste of fucking time. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa! Dog, what? Okay. <laughs> what is this anymore? Okay, it just doesn't make sense all right god damn it <laughs> it's a goddamn ghost it's actually a fucking ghost what, the, what? no 
No! I'm not forced to subscribe. To be fair, that's like a very normal reaction. That's a very fucking normal reaction to have. Why would you stop the car? Fucking go, bro. Don't don't stick there. All right, let's go to the next video. All right, let's see this one. What? What is that? Like an actual... Oh, it's hard to tell because the lighting is so fucked. Why are you staying here? Whoa! Why are you staying here? Whoa, they're ripping his hat off! And you can tell he's a little Canadian too. Whoa! Whoa! After their followers requested them to go back, even though they had decided they'd never go back there, and said... What do you mean oh. they never go back? Yeah. Whoa! Huh? Do you believe in the supernatural? Were you guys able to hear yeah, I'm skeptic, but, you know, seems to a bit. A voice. How are Kyle and the boys doing? Great, we're playing through Borderlands 3 together. Life's getting good. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Later, they continued the investigation in the most haunted part of the church where a previous activity occurred to make them... I mean, if somebody's ripping my clothes off... In a ghost hunt? I'm getting the fuck up out of there, dude. I'm not fucking around. Check Chris Bledsoe UFO story. I think I've heard of that name, actually. Um, I'll check it out. Okay, well, obviously you're doing the sensor deprivation. I'm not gonna do it. I didn't move. This is just my house's basement. I have to stage my house before I can sell it. Really long. Uh, I feel like he's gonna start getting whipped by this thing. <laughs> you have to stage your house before you sell it. Basically, empty the hell out of it. You know. Oh, I hate that some ordinary gamers guy. That guy is fucking bullshit. After spirits giving signs back to them for confirming their When you presence, move to a new place, will you do an Arch Linux fresh install? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, that's certainly not the wind. What the f The housing market is fucked. I mean, I just got my house for a good price. Well, good price yeah, in relative did terms. Did you guys see? As they were calling to the spirits to an Ouija board, something seems to fall behind their back, and at the same moment, a slight... Wait, I gotta see this. Hold on. What fell? As they were calling to the spirits to an Ouija board... That looks so fucking weirdly edited. Like, look at that. Look at look at how it, like, fell. Look at it. Does that not look... Thank you, Easter, for being a new member. Does that not look weirdly edited, though? It feels like it's operating... Nah, dude, look. It's operating at, like, literally... I feel like it's weird. Look at it. It's, like, so weirdly edited. That looks so weirdly edited, dude. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I th I th I don't know. I don't know. It it's like it fell so perfectly. Toronto housing market is so. Is it really overvalued if people are buying houses? So. They end their investigation right there, not feeling like continuing after these weird activities for their safety. What are your thoughts on this investigation of theirs? Debbie in anxiety. Okay, look, the, the housing market, if you're talking about it, yeah, it's pretty fucked up. It is fucked up. You know how much like, so when I bought my house, um, I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys like a quick thing. Let me, let me tell you how fucked the market is. When I bought this house, I probably paid around 660,000 for it. Do you know how much this house will sell for? Actually, you guys have an idea. Take a wild guess. About 1 million. Like, easily. It's over 1 million. That's how fucked the market is. 
That's how fucked the entire market is. That's what that's how bad the housing market has gotten, okay? Like I and remember, guys, when I bought this for like 600ish back then, this was this that was like fucking godly cheap in comparison. So the market's not bad at all. The house that I ended up buying cost me around like now that I ended up getting this house, the final cost is probably 1. 1. 1.3 million is what we had to do it at. And you know what a house is going to be worth? Like fucking worth the years down the road? Because it's a brand new house. Like we're talking it's just six months old. All right. That house is going to be worth at the end of the year from 1.3 to at least 1.6, maybe 1.7. If you want to talk about like how to make money, that's a house, dude. That's a fucking, that's how, that's how houses work here. Okay, that's how, how, and you know how far that house is from where, like, the city is? Like, maybe an hour and, like, a half. Okay, like, that's how much it works, okay? It goes from 1.3 to, like, 1.6, 1.7. That's how, like, the housing market is. That's what happens with, like, houses. And the problem is, with houses, too, it's so out of affordability for, like, everything. Like, we had to get lucky. Like, if you're a homeowner, okay, you get, like, home, owning a home is great, and then selling it is great. Like, that's sort of how it works, man. Like, that's pretty much the nutshell with it the only downside is is that like that listen that's how much a home costs an hour and a half out now imagine how much a home costs in the city like that's how much a home costs in the, like imagine how much a home costs like in the greater toronto area like we're talking mississauga toronto markham brampton north york all that dude it's fucking insane okay like it's fucking it is insane it's not even canadian dollars like how much is canadian like how much is 1.3 like at least a million so a u.s so it, it depends right um like that's what it comes down to okay <laughs> do you guys know why i don't own lamborghinis you guys want to know why i don't buy a lamborghini okay this is what i hate about like la and like absolute brain dead youtubers nowadays like if you ever come across the youtubers that make a shit ton of money and then they start buying frivolously stupid shit it is the most, like, hilarious thing in the world. Like, I've seen, like, YouTubers throughout the years buy, like, $50,000, like, fucking shoes and, like, Lamborghinis. Do you know how fucking stupid that is? You know how stupid it is to waste your money on shit like that? When you... The only smart investment in life is literally fucking property. That's it. As long as you get past the ego bullshit and learn how to invest your money appropriately, life definitely becomes fucking easy. Like, Lamborghinis are fucking stupid as shit. I'd never buy one today. Like, those things are fucking... Those things are a waste of goddamn time. Like, if you buy if you buy a Lamborghini, you might as well just give... You might as well just get yourself a fucking... Like, at the end of the day, what's the point of owning a fucking Ferrari? Can we ask the question, what's the point of owning a fucking Lamborghini when you get the same fucking traffic ticket at 60 as you would on a BMW or a fucking, you know, Acura or any other car? What's the fucking point? To show off to somebody? Like, what's the fucking point? The most expensive shit that I ever buy are watches. And that's because watches retain and gain value. That's about it. If you are a billionaire, dude, even if I was a billionaire, I wouldn't waste my time on a Lamborghini. You want to know why a billionaire, if I was a billionaire, I wouldn't need to buy a Lamborghini? Because everyone in the fucking world would know that I can buy a Lamborghini. So the ability to flex is pointless. What's the point of flexing when the fucking world knows that you have the ability to flex? <laughs> like, it doesn't make any... Then, then you actually look like a loser. That guy buys a Lamborghini when he can buy a fucking Boeing 707. Like, what's wrong with him? <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. It's so dumb. Like, property is the only fucking thing you have to buy. Like, that's just where it comes down to. Like, if you buy property, that's, that's the best thing in life. Like, right here, if you even buy empty land, there are fucking companies that come out to buy the empty land for a fucking en masse, dude. They don't care. Lambos are fun to drive fast. I mean, I've driven a Lamborghini. I've rented the Lamborghinis enough. They're fine, but, like, I wouldn't end up going to buy them. Like, it's so fucking dumb. You know how people rent mansions and shit? They can't afford the mansion, so they rent the mansion, and they spend, like, a shit ton of money to live in the mansion. That's a fucking waste of time, bro. You're, like, trying to fake being rich. <laughs> fucking stupid. It's like there are people out there that are literally willing to spend, like, rent on overexpensive apartments when they could live a bit out in the suburbs and actually own their fucking home. <laughs> That's pretty much it. 
And I get that that's my opinion, but like, I think my opinion is objectively right in this case because it's like, at the end of the day, when you buy depreciating assets, it's just a waste of your cash. It's just a waste of your time and money. Like, it is what it is. <laughs> like, I just don't get it. Um, but then again, like, it's not to say I'm not a car person. I like nice cars. The problem is, it's like, what's the fucking point anymore? Maybe it's, listen, maybe it's because I've gotten fucking old at this point. So it's like, I don't really get the ability to fly. Like, listen, if I wanted to actually, it, like, here's my, here's like a car that I would really like to own, okay? If I could own, if I wanted to own a car, like a car that I would really like, I think I'd like to get a Nissan, Nissan GTR or a Shelby Cobra GT350. That's it, okay? Like, that's probably the car that I would want to get, all right? And even then, I don't know if I'd spend, like, the money on it. I might buy it, like, a year old when it's depreciated a little bit, but that's pretty much, like, what car that I would get. I don't want to waste it on, like, the generic, like, super expensive vehicle. That's probably the only fucking thing that I'd want. I'd really like to own a Nissan GTR. That that seems like a fucking cool car, but I don't know. It's kind of pointless. Straight spitting facts. Thanks for the great advice. Property, it definitely is, man. If you can afford it, there's nothing... Yeah, there's nothing wrong with the splurge. I think it just matters on it, right? Like, it's up to you. Yeah, if you have the money to, buy a vehicle if you need. But, like... I, I, I What I'm trying to say, actually, is, like... Uh, if you have to... If you have to slave away at owning the car... It's probably not worth owning the car, right? Like, does that make any sense? Like, if you can just buy it outright and it doesn't even fucking affect you, go for it. doesn't matter. You're already, you're rich to the point where it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> but if you have to buy the car and suck dick to make the payments on it, it's not worth it. Anyways. This is the third car. I'm still not forced to subscribe, by the way. The other guy shitted. You did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, oh, speaking of it. That's the only car that's, like, worth it, the Tesla, though. Because the Tesla will give you your money, like, it, 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 it's, it's not a bad car to own. What do they see? Wait, which Tesla is this? The Model S or the 3? Would you guys know? I don't, I don't, like, fucking own a Tesla, so... <laughs> which one do they own here? I can't tell. What are they trying to even see? What what are they trying to do here? What the fuck? What? Is that a thing? What? Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Is that... That's so weird. So wait, what happened? Is that like... So wait wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So when you're in the Tesla, right? The sonar system picks up everything. So yeah, so wait a minute, wait a minute. That's that's a glitch. Because I, I did a test drive on a Model S once. Like this is like a year ago, two years ago. But uh, the HUD of the Model S is interesting. Because like this is the same thing that you see right over here. But like it literally detects everything around you. So like when you're driving the car... Uh, like a bus in the in the hut of the car will look like a bus and the car will look like a car and a pickup truck will look like a pickup truck. It's fucking insane. Um, but I've never seen that. That's kind of weird. Like even when I was parking the car, I've never seen that shit. That's not real. Like I think the Tesla can only detect a car, right? Like car to car? What? How does it detect a car? What? Right before ending their part one investigation. Are they autopiloting this, by the way? Is this being autopiloted? Can, there, can anybody tell me if the, is the car being autopiloted? Is that even possible to autopilot there? Like, what? They're not autopiloting it? Okay. The long wait was over to capture something crazy. It shows people? So right, I guess me, it's an update then. While there was nobody standing. Oppure lei... Well, then, then then, when I test drove one, it must have been, like, not a fucking feature that it can detect a human, but that's cool. Wait, so how do the Tesla updates work if anybody owns it? Is it, like, did, do they do they backport to older models, or is it, like, just, like, some updates are part of newer vehicles? Because I assume, like, the sonar systems get updated, so, like, 
the soft like, is it is it like owning an iphone like some features are only for like the new new fucking teslas and shit that would piss me off that would really fucking piss me off if i owned one i wasn't able to get a fucking feature and shit overnight no no but like but like is there like fucking is there like newer cars like you have to get the newer newer car from that year do they backport the feature a little bit no depending on the package you know man actually i'd like to own a fucking tesla man i'd like to own one i think if i buy a nicer car it's probably this did you guys notice something here Neon, I'm glad we're here to have a good time. JDM is superior. Yes, SDS. Love your vids. Thank you. Thank you, Chasen, for supporting. Dog, that's... You're really fucking reaching for that. I'm sorry. That doesn't look like a... <laughs> that doesn't look like it. Get out of here. Get out of here. It doesn't look like it. Wait, dude, can you install Linux on a Tesla? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. This might make me buy a Tesla. Tesla, Linux. Can you install Linux on a fucking Tesla, please? I gotta see this. Hold on a second. Can you do that? Wait a fucking second. Tesla, sideload, Linux. Hacker installed. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm, hold on, hold on. Source Reddit. Of course it's Reddit. Of course it's fucking Reddit. <gasps> oh, dude, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is getting fucking based as hell. Watch this. Watch this, dude. So I'm in my uh, Tesla Model 3 running the latest uh, uh, stock Tesla V9 software. Oh, yeah? Um, I bet you are. Okay. Wait, what? Yeah, but I, I got I gotta see him boot into it at least. Hold on. Alright, let me just get rid of that. It's probably a copyrighted song. Kinda stupid. Wait, you're Oh dude, he's not okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's he trying to do? Huh Wait, what? What? I had to see this. No, you didn't miss the ghost hunting. I'm I'm jerking off over Linux in a fucking model. At, dude, it's kind of fucking worth it at this point, though. Wait, how many? It's got four cores? Four cores and four gigs of RAM? Man, Elon's really wanting me to play Witcher 3 on this? Is he using it as a second display? I don't know. Is he using it as a second display or what? I don't know. I don't know. Is he using it as a second? I feel like I'm getting fucking diddled right now. How much does a te how much how much is a brand new Tesla? Let me see. Tesla.com. Let's see. Tesla. Take me to Tesla. Yeah, Canada. Hell yeah. Let's see. Let's see how fucking expensive a Tesla is again. Model Model S. How much is a fucking how much is Model S here? Order now. Oh God. Let's order a Tesla, guys. What is this? Model S, estimated delivery 10 to 14 weeks? <sighs> it's pretty cringe, bro. It's pretty cringe. Wait, wait, what the fuck is this? The long... What the hell is a Played Plus? Hold on, let me, let me see this shit. What the fuck? The fuck is this? Dude, this isn't even a... Wait, I want Canadian, motherfucker. You're giving me, like, California incentives. What the fuck? What? Oh shit! Oh god damn! All right. I was like, the prices look really fucking good <laughs> until you see the plate plus is like two hundred fucking thousand. Top speed is two fifty kilometers an hour. Okay, three point two seconds. Six hundred and sixty three kilometers in range. God damn! How much is a plate plus? I mean, what does it add? Oh shit, guys! It's got eight hundred and thirty seven kilometers of range. God damn, mid-22? Mid-2022? Mid nah, nah, dude, we're not, I'm not waiting a fucking, I'm not pre-ordering the fucking car for 200,000, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Elon's losing his mind. What color? Obviously black, alright, that's the color of, of, that you should get one in. Aw, oh, dude, the wheels, gotta, gotta get the fucking 21-inch, Oh man. Oh man, actually... 
Wow, what a bunch of fucking assholes. Like, they give you the absolute shitty looking wheels. It's like, hey guys, here's the fucking dog shit looking fucking... This is the, this is the bargain bin fucking Beyblades that you got, right? And then like, oh shit guys, we got some cool looking fucking... We got some good looking rims right here. Yo, fuck you, alright? That's bullshit. That's fucking bullshit. The car sucks ass. Get out of here. All right. How much is the red? Oh, the red is even more expensive. What the fuck? No, nah, dude. I'm getting the. I'm getting the black, dude. It looks. It looks bigger at night, dude. And trust me, like that's that, that's that's actually a true thing. Like I don't care what you say. Like a like a dark like a blacker car, like a dark car, like dark purple or whatever. That shit looks fucking bigger at night. You know what I mean? I'm not even fucking. It's not even a meme or anything. You ever see a, you ever see you ever see a jet black Grand Cherokee at night? That shit looks like a fucking FBI van rolling down the streets. I'm not even fucking with you. There's literally no change in size. It's just it also looks better at night too, like a like a like a solid like shiny looking car, you know. Plus, if you if you get if you get the white paint, the cars like tend to have more value, but they get dirtier a lot faster though. Then again, car get cars getting dirty. It doesn't matter what fucking it doesn't matter what you have. What does the played one look like? It's seriously not even a BBC joke. Like, I'm actually being serious. <laughs> dude, he wants you to play Witcher 3, dude. <laughs> I'm not gonna play Witcher 3 on the road. Maybe Stardew Valley, but not Witcher 3. Alright? Dude wants you to play fucking Fallout Shelter while you're driving the car. Nah, dude, we're not doing that. We're not doing- I certainly don't fucking think the played is worth the extra 100,000 you're fucking putting into it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, that's a little- that's a little fucking insane to me. Alright. What's the- what's the- what's the interior at here? What's the interior looking at? Oh, you get the- get the black and- that looks terrible, okay? I'm sorry. Like, I- dude, I had- I had- I had a girl once spill fucking coffee on this exact same design for a chair. Oh, dude! Fucking told her to get the fuck up out of there right there. I'm not even kidding with you. I pulled up to the side. I told her to get out of the car. I got me a fucking, I got me some napkins and shit. And I started cleaning that car, dude. I don't care. All right. That is bad. All right. God damn. Ever since then, don't fucking own a car with that shit. I don't even bother. That's not happening. That's not happening, dude. That's not happening. We're not doing the black and white interior. That shit's scary. All right. Why the fuck would I want cream? Dude, it looks like Sonic came all over this. Like, it, lo it looks like I let a Redditor come on my car. It looks like an NES that's gone kind of bad. <laughs> fuck that. We're not gonna do that shit. Getting all black, dude. Looks a lot better. Black on black, baby. Oh, I gotta pay 10,000 extra for full self-driving? Are you fucking insane? You see the price on this bastard? A hundred and fourteen thousand dollars, and I gotta pay fucking ten thousand on a cum-colored car that I have to pay extra for? You fucking out of your mind! God damn, you fucking Elon's losing his mind. What the fuck? Yeah, of course I'm gonna add that. I'm not gonna have a neutered fucking Tesla. Order the mod. Yeah, sure. Continue to fucking payment and shit. Why not? Oh, would you like to, would you like to buy the car? Wait, does it have, like, address? Did it auto? No, it didn't. Uh, oh, shit. Cash. Lease and loan. What the fuck is a... How much? In... Due today, 2500 Sure, why not? Doesn't he have Bitcoin in this somewhere? Doesn't he have, like, Bitcoin that you can pay with? Where do you buy this thing with the fucking Bitcoins? Where the fuck do you buy the Bitcoin? Let's see the... Where the fuck do you buy the Bitcoins? Where's the Bitcoin option? God damn. Where's the motherfucking Bitcoin option? What the fuck is this? Check the Tesla Roadster. All right, we're, we're going to keep that in the bag. All right, we're going to keep that there. You can't buy a Roadster, guys. They don't sell the fucking Roadster. They don't sell it. How much is a Model 3? Is a Model 3 there or whatever? Oh, that's fucking... That's way better price. God damn. God damn. Give me a Canadian fucking version, dude. I don't want to... I don't want to look at US pricing, bro. What the fuck? Bitcoin option is at the bottom? Oh, if they got the Bitcoin option, I can fucking pull that up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me see the Bitcoin option.
order with. <sighs> they got no Bitcoin option. Oh well. Anyways, boys, let's get back to the fucking party right here. Could it be someone on the road walking? Or are mind playing tricks? Let us know in the comments down below. Scary to Tesla Roadster goes in 2.1. I don't think you can buy a Roadster, boys. It's not for me. Videos where at first a guy who was randomly recording inside his house hears unusual loud bangs coming from outside. And this is what he captures as he checks his- Did I buy the car? Fuck no, I didn't buy a Tesla, guys. I just fucked around on the keyboard a little bit. You think I'm gonna waste my fucking money on that shit? I have no fucking care about the Tesla right now. <laughs> it's a fine car. I don't need a car right now. I already own a vehicle, guys. Shit. Guys, I'm I'm what do, do I look like fucking do do I look like a dipshit who would just spend a hundred grand on a car right now? Fuck that. If I get a car like that, I'm probably gonna honestly buy the um probably gonna I don't know, like at some point or other, like what the fuck? Nah, it's pointless. Thank you, No, for being a member. Tesla is great. I think I think I want I I, I here, listen, okay? Once, once I get rid of the car that I have, sure, maybe, not now, not now. Listen, I gotta, I gotta kill the environment first. I'm a Mustang driver, okay? Then I can, then I can be eco-friendly. Backyard. Oh, I ain't buying no Porsche. Thank you, Blazero, for being a member. You can buy a Roadster. It's 200000 <laughs> I don't think I buy no Roadster. Something similar like that black shadow gets captured inside someone's house where the inmate... Listen, boys and girls. I'm not being forced to sup to this fucking channel yet. I think they're fucking me. Dude, we're at TikTok level at this point. We're at the TikTok stage. Like, we're at, we're literally watching a fucking TikTok right now, okay? We are actually watching a fucking TikTok. Oh my god. Okay, this better be scared. This better fucking scare the shit out of me. I have a hard top Mustang. I don't do a convertible. How's life post surgery? Just like before, man. Appendicitis isn't life like well, it's life. It can be life threatening, but I'm fine. Dog, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. I'd love to collab with Jim Browning. I'd love to be his, like, Indian, like, fucking, you know, twink going on to, like, calls. And then, like, reeling in the scammers. Oh, man, dude, that's real scary right there. This is, like, the horror that's on TikTok, by the way. This is, like, TikTok horror, okay? Like, this is TikTok shit. This is literally, like, this is what TikTok horror is, okay? It's dog shit. If you're on TikTok horror, I got some problems. You got a Maki Mustang, dude? Are those really worth it? I want to get them, dude. I want to get them, bro. I want to get those Makis. Those things are pretty cool. What? God, dude, that is that is insane. That is insane, dude. I want... I, could you guys imagine that, though? Could you guys imagine that shit? God damn. Like, that's, that's not horror, dude. 
That's sad. What are your thoughts on this? Are these really some dark shadow figures or something well edited to make scary TikTok trend viral? Guys, I really hope YouTube doesn't delete dislikes. Like, I really hope dislikes aren't gone. You guys, I'll show you why dislikes should be here. I'll show you real quick. Oh, I'll show you all. Final on our list is one of the creepiest activities captured by Facebook user Abiot Fernandez, who has been added to our list many times before for his troubling nights, where he faced so many paranormal activities and recorded them as well. Today he again. I am gonna fucking shit, and I'm gonna like fucking grab my shit and feces, and I'm gonna post it all over the fucking walls one day, and that is gonna be scarier than anything that these fucking people have fucking made in their history. Holy shit. I am gonna literally grab my ass shit and I'm gonna smear it all over the walls. Cause my God, this is bad. There is no way. You're gonna force me to subscribe? All right, I'm almost forcing myself into a fucking like mental asylum right now. Okay, what is this? What is this shit? This is terrible. All right, this is awful. Okay, none of this is fucking scary. Who likes this? 442, I gotta see this. I gotta see, this. I know this is supposed to be scary, but you have the cutest voice ever. Oh my fucking God. ...one of his recent encounters with something very bone chilling. Here's them as well. Today he again uploaded- She's like fucking 12, bro. What the hell? Dog, what the fuck? She's like 12, dude, relax. She, she sounds really young, okay? She's not 12. I'm going extreme there, but like, it's a very young sounding person. Okay, stop it. Stop, stop, stop creeping. It's a ghost video, damn it. Jesus. Hear from Muda's lie. Hear from Muda, okay? Call me crazy, but I think a ghost tried to bre break his neck. Oh, yeah? Oh, really? <laughs> I bet, indeed. Very nice. Good job. The first one looks like your logo, a standard ghost. I don't know if it's cute or extra scary having a kitty's voice present the show. My apologies if the narrator is an adult. The voice is adorable nonetheless. Pit paranormal image on his right seeker to his far left. But he never points the camera all the way in that direction. It's like a slightly like really... What? Dog, the comments are fucking scarier than the videos I watch. Jesus Christ. El Faro, it's meaning the lighthouse. The last one is so fake. Yeah, no, I, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it at all. I don't doubt it at all. I've already seen these vids. You got the right idea, but you're literally stealing Nuke's top five videos. It's a top five video, Creepin' Cody. All right, everyone steals from fucking everyone. God damn. God damn. You, you do your own narration and claiming them as your own. You can't do that. That's copyright infringement. What gave it away was the woman demon and the big teddy bear. You copied the video and the narration almost worked for word. Not cool. I can't subscribe because you're stealing people's work. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm I'm just I'm just gonna back out because it's a very hostile fucking comment. I actually I feel I feel attacked, dude. I feel fucking scared, man. Creepin' Cody isn't fucking around today, is he? <laughs> Creepin' Cody isn't fucking around. Watch Nick Crowley. Why watch a friend of mine when I can talk to him? He is really good, though. He's, his content is pretty solid. We overlap here and there. All right, let me fucking... Let me, let me, let me show you guys right here. Dude, that's, that's, that's some crazy shit. Some fucked up shit right there. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not subscribing to it. It didn't force me to subscribe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight my urges. All right, must not subscribe to dog shit. <laughs> it's, it's just not scary. Like, like, the people that fall for this are like... It has to be, like, my aunt, okay, who, like, believes anything. Like, it, ha it has to be, like... I'm sorry, th these these are dog shit. Th these, are, these are terrible. Uh, what is this? What What is the hot new game that's come out lately? Um, oh, you guys want to know something fucked up? I got banned off Call of Duty Mobile. I got a full account ban. You guys want to know that? I got a full fucking account ban on COD Mobile. Do you want to know what I did? You guys want to know what I did to get a full fucking account, man? This is going to blow your minds. I installed the game on a Mac. I got banned for playing on a fucking Mac. An Apple product. They fucking banned me. You'll get a video tomorrow. I literally got banned testing the game. Full account ban. 
completely removed. Full fucking account ban. I was testing it out for a video. They fucking full account banned me for playing it on a fucking Mac. I shit you not. Watch, watch, watch. This is a thing. Watch. I, I didn't know this was a thing. I should have probably looked it up. Hold on. Guys, if you own the new M1 Max, you can actually get straight up banned. Like, they ban you. I got banned permanently. Account has been banned. I didn't know this, but I got totally banned. You can even get banned in PUBG Mobile. Literally, Apple's official computer got me fucking banned. They banned my Apple account. Fuck me, bro. <laughs> they fucking tell me that shit. They got my account banned. Can you believe that? Can you believe it? I got fucking banned. Off the gate. Why did I play it on a Mac? So, um, I guess I'll tell you guys this. I have an apology video coming out tomorrow. It's literally my apology to Apple. Because, uh, believe it or not, Apple did a pretty good job lately. Do you guys, so you guys know the new Apple MacBooks that have come out? How many people are familiar the new Apple MacBook where they have the M1 Macintosh, their new brand new processor that they made? How many of you guys know that? Luckily, you guys know that? Like how many of you people like follow my channel know that Apple did it? Do you guys know that? Roughly. Like all jokes aside, you guys know that shit? I know there's like F in the chat. So basically, uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll explain something real quick. Okay. I'll explain this. So I decided to eat my own thing. So it's not an app because there's a lot of problems. Okay. Apple. So Apple has made some notorious fuck ups with this, but I'm going to explain something real quick. The hardware. So basically Apple made this new Mac, which is their own processor. Cause now we're getting to the point where Apple isn't exactly on a good term with Intel. And they've also made enough advances on their own that they just don't fucking care about Intel anymore, okay? Apple has decided to say fuck you to Intel, pretty much, and are making their own fucking processors. So let me explain the stupidity here real quick. So this is the new MacBook Air and this is the Pro. So I ended up buying the Pro 8 gigs just to test myself in this. So this costs 1600, right? Which is a lot of fucking money, especially for this. But this is their own processor. All of it is their own design, right? Here's a 16 inch Mac that they're selling with an i9, but you see this i7 one for 3000? What if I told you this $3,000 laptop that they have to pay a premium because they have to put AMD Radeon dog shit 5300M and this 2.6 gigahertz i7 that's probably thermal throttling? This thing fucking beats it. They fucking beat it. What the fuck? Now for 1700, I'm going to tell you this much, okay? This thing has a battery life of a day. Now, I'm not here. This video isn't about the battery life, okay? This video isn't about all that. What it's about, though, is for some fucking weird reason, this thing is strong. You can edit an entire video on this thing and the battery stands. 4K video. You can actually play fucking straight up some... Here's what I did, okay? So you guys are going to see this in the video. I installed a VM on this thing to run Yakuza Kiwami 2. It ran like dog shit, okay? Like 720p, 30 frames per second. But it ran. Playable somewhat. They actually did a pretty good job making it. That's their first fucking attempt. Now, understand this much. Intel is fucked, okay? Like, this is my last Intel processor that I'm gonna have, okay? Like, this is... I have an i9-9900K. I will never buy another intel processor at all okay i will never what's up tipster i will never buy another intel processor because intel processors compared to amd's ryzen is fucking dog shit amd so here's how i did it okay so yakuza kiwami 2 is an x86 game right meaning it runs on desktop processors so here's how i did it on the apple m1 i ran a windows macintosh here, I can actually show it to you, I think. I have the raw footage that I recorded off of this. So can I, you guys mind if I show it to you real quick? I have the raw video footage that I have to like, that I, that I was editing, but I'll show you real quick uh, what it is. Where's the, where's the, where's the exports? EGC library? No, right here. Okay. 
doesn't work there. Not that. Here it is. Yeah, I'll show it to you guys real fucking quick. Uh, oh man, this is this this Elgato recording is kind of dog shit, dude. To be honest with you. There it is. This should work now. No, guys, it's kind, of, it's kind of something I'm a little impressed by, to be honest with you. Uh, let me just open up the Elgato app. Game capture. Yeah, here it is. The Snyder Cut? No. I didn't watch that, dude. I don't have the time to watch a fucking three and a half hour movie, dude. I'm not that into superhero movies. I didn't watch the original Justice League. I don't know if I can really sit down and watch this movie. I'm sure it's good. I just don't have that fucking time, man. It's a lot of fucking time, dude. It's a lot of shit. It's a lot of time. That is a lot of fucking time right there to spend on a movie. I'm sure it's in chapters and everything, but I don't, I don't got that fucking time. Okay, yeah, here, I'll show you guys real quick. This is fucking insane. So, it's not perfect, but I'll show you guys. Uh, so, long story short, for those people watching, uh, this is the M1 Mac, right? Basic ARM processor. So, here's how we get it to work. We open up a virtual machine right so at some point to show you guys real quick you go down and you open up a windows 10 virtual machine this is windows 10 arm version so it's windows 10's version of the arm it's their arm processor build okay so when you load it up all right it detects everything the vm works pretty well i connected a controller to it and then i shit you not i installed yakuza kiwami 2 so here's how this works it basically uses Microsoft Windows' x86 uh, uh, ARM version of their operating system. It translates the x86 code to ARM underneath Windows while it's running in a VM, getting fed graphic power from the actual host uh, Mac system. And then the and then like I'll show you the performance. It's it's it, this is how it plays. Okay, so I'll show you real quick. You need a VM for a VM. Sometimes I need it nested. Sup, T since the old Honda Gate. Love your content and taking a lot of advice to your heart. Chill attitude. Well, it's a, bo a bit of both, man. You know, we benefit each other. This is how it runs, guys. So this is like the game running at 720p. Uh, it's lagging to start off with, but then I shift it around a little bit. And I think, yeah, right after here. Um, that's not half bad. It's running under a fucking VM through two layers of compatibility transitions. That's fucking insane. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal to some people, but that's not half bad. Like, it's not perfect. I'd never play a game like that. This is not how you should play the game, but this shouldn't fucking run in the first place. You know what I mean? Now, I recorded this for two hours. The battery life went from 70 to like 55%. 70 to 55%. A fucking gaming PC, my gaming PC that I have, my laptop, my Steel Series, dies in an hour and a half. That's running under a virtual machine with an 8 gig system and two layers of fucking, and two compatibility layers. It's running through a Windows layer, like the Windows armed x86, and then it's going to like the, the layer on Mac. So it's a little fucking mind blowing that we've gotten this going that good. Alright, and this is the power of the arm. Now... I, the reason why I'm making this video is that I feel like Apple might be the one company that is going to go out of their way to like, cause you got to understand, like as much as we rip on Apple, they have brand power, right? Like Microsoft doesn't have the brand power to push any fucking laptop. Imagine, you know what I mean? Like Apple is the only one that can, they have the fucking people out there that are like all the way, like they had, they're the only people in the space with like that super brand power. The only person with the much as much brand power as Apple is, I think Razer, right? Like Razer has not a not the same. Like Razer's kind of like that, you know what I mean? Razer is kind of like that in a way for PC. So it feels like with Apple, they're the only ones that can do it. Now, if they've done a decent job, I can't say like you have to understand. Like you have to give credit where credit's due. Okay. Now it's not perfect. Apple's terrible for gaming. They missed out on a million things regarding this, but you got to give them fucking credit where credit is due. If we're gonna be honest here. So I, I feel I feel like that's that's one of the things mentioned uh, that, that has to be dropped into. 
it's an arm based system that's able to pull this much so i got some gamecube emulation uh this is obviously you know fucking gamecube emulation right there and there they have the majority you're right they, they definitely have the majorities but this is like gamecube emulation right so like if you want to see some gamecube shit going around this is the native like no this is this is gamecube running underneath another uh another transition layer so i just want to i want you to i want you to see this this is like gamecube running around so even gamecube runs really fucking well you guys can't hear the audio because macs don't let you record audio appropriately uh, well, Apple, so first off in this video, even though I showed you this, they can never have a gaming computer because despite them making good hardware, Apple makes absolutely hard controlled software. Their software has the most outdated gaming shit in the world. Apple only cares if you game on a cell phone or a tablet. They don't give a fucking shit about their Mac systems. Honestly, this system could be good for gaming if Apple gave a shit to support it. Like, you guys know how Linux has Steam Proton? Like, you can play Windows games on Linux. You can't do that on Apple's Macs because Apple doesn't fucking allow. Like, not allow. Apple doesn't put in the effort to support it. So, despite how cool this is, it's up to... Like, they don't give a shit. They don't support it. Like, here, here's Final Fantasy XII that was running. Uh, one of the tougher games to emulate. But this is an outdated 2012 version of the fucking emulator running underneath this system. That's not bad. That's not bad if you think about it. It's running at like 1080p like fucking visual settings. It's not bad. Like whatsoever. So I, I'm, I'm actually impressed with their processor type. And then like they've got their emulators. Obviously this stuff works just fine as you would expect. It's not a big deal. But you got to realize, right? The battery doesn't get fucking cucked. Like that's the most important aspect of the whole situation. The battery isn't getting fucked. Like, like here, here's proof of the actual system, right? Like, you've got fucking the Mac system right here. Um, Fortnite, as much as I fucking meme on this game, it wasn't half bad, the experience, right? Like, you have to, you have to realize this was hitting 60 frames on unoptimized systems, unoptimized code. So it's not so bad. I mean, it could get better, but it's not the worst, you know? And then you've got, you know, Stardew Valley, which is like, of course, you know, anything could run Stardew fucking Valley at this point. Let's be real. That's not the worst. And then CSGO. So CSGO ran pretty fucking well, too. Look at that. CSGO. Uh, I mean, obviously, this is going to run just fine. But it's CSGO that's running on... You got to understand, these aren't ARM games. These aren't ARM games. This is the most important aspect. These are x86 architecture games running on a different architecture. That's not bad. It's like Apple and Microsoft should really fucking push for it. It's like in the next five, six years, like obviously gaming computers aren't going to change, but like this level of power efficiency needs to be a thing. Like, let's not fuck around. This is pretty badass, you know? And then like, obviously, so this is the, this is the dumb shit. This is the stupid part about Apple. So you see how you can like play San Andreas, like you see how you can download San Andreas on Steam? You can't download the official Mac version. You have to download the iPad version and play it with a fucking controller on a Mac. Because it has the same architecture as an iPad and an iPhone, so you can kind of do this. It's like, dude, it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Can you watch Joe Ball in 416? Who's that? And then this is where I got banned off of COD Mobile. Like, you guys can't see it over here, but, like, I, I literally have an authorization error. It won't let me play the game anymore. Like, I got banned for it. Danganronpa obviously works pretty well. Um, I think I had, like, some gameplay over here. Yeah, it works. It works about as well. You could, I mean, anything could run Danganronpa at this point. Who fucking cares? All right. Miss you. I'm getting my diploma from cybersecurity because of your videos. Oh, well, I'm glad you went into a fucking career path that hopefully I inspired and you enjoy it, man. I mean, shit. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be a fun time, especially with COVID now forcing that upon every business. You're gonna get some work. Love you, me to stay healthy. Don Horatio, thanks for being a new member. Day Maka, K3 sub. Thank you, Mudex. After you show the footage, you should watch Chills. Man, what happened to Chills, dude? He's like kind of gone radio silent. Mika Frigo, I like pretending I know what you're talking about. As long as you enjoy it. I mean, learning the stuff isn't hard. And then here's like Apple's version of like Breath of the Wild that they copied. Look at this. Look at this shit. 
why I don't have to do the matrix shit. People act like I put so much effort into this. Dude, I can I'm I'm comfortable doing this shit. You guys got to understand like this isn't hard for me. Starting VMs and doing all this shit, that's not hard for me. You know how people do woodworking and shit? I like doing that. Like that shit takes me 30 40 minutes max. All right? If I if I'm lazying around, it's not the hardest shit in the world. All right? Yeah, they, they like straight, dude, they like straight copied this. They like straight copied it all. You got to realize, isn't it? It's, dude, it's like straight Breath of the Wild. <laughs> straight Breath of the Wild, dude. It's, it's like fucking homeless Breath of the Wild, though. And that's, that's pretty much what it comes down to. And then I think the last thing I recorded was like Borderlands, which, uh, this... This do this wasn't running so bad when it was unoptimized or whatever. So yeah, I guess you can play fucking Borderlands, right? Three. But like the point is, is that it's totally different architecture. And for something that like, you have to understand, like people have to realize you were, we were expecting a transitionary phase. They almost pulled it off like magic. So I guess the point that I'm trying to say now is that Apple has made a Mac worth buying, you know? And as somebody that is a fan of the Hackintosh, the problem is that with their new processors, you pretty much have to buy them. You have to buy their system. But it's insane because, like, why don't they sell that same Apple shit? Like, the same processor from the higher end, like, box. It makes no sense to me. The way that they sell this thing is so out of nowhere. It's just, it's, it's, it's wild, dude. Game of the year goes to you. Keep at it. Certs or degrees? Probably want to get your certs. I know all my friends right now, especially in my siege group, are getting, like, their certifications and shit. By the way, guys, uh, Valorant, Valorant banned VMs. Do you guys notice that? Valorant banned VMs, man, a week after I made that video, dude. Fuck Riot Games. I hate fucking Riot. All my homies hate Riot, dude. Fuck Riot Games. Can we all just say fuck Riot Games in the chat, dude? Fuck that shit. Get out of here. Fuck Riot Games, bro. Can't do Riot, man. Can't do Riot games. <sighs> twerk, man. I'm not going to twerk on camera like that. What the fuck? What do I use for VM audio? I pass through an actual, like, headset directly. That's what I do. I have it. I have my speakers connected to my monitor, so I just use HDMI audio. All my homies, they fucking Riot, dude. All they do. Five scary videos you should not watch alone. You should not watch in the dark. You should not watch after 3 a.m. My God, dude, these titles are so dog shit. These might make you scream. Oh my God. Let's see these ones. Are they going to make me scream? Aren't Max rolling out mobile app support? You can, except with that support jet is how I got my account banned on COD Mobile. Do I have a DAC? Uh, I have the Steel Series. What, what are you talking about? Like DAC? Like it's in the... I, I have like the Steel Series looking DAC. That's about all I have from the Arctis or whatever. This scene is about a person named Clay visiting a haunted hotel in Brooksville, Florida. Florida? The hotel was built in 1916 by three women who obviously passed away by now. It is said that sightings began after them passing away. People would see a woman in a hallway, the stuff would move by itself, and people would be like, that's the woman I saw in the picture, that's the same woman. It has now become a haunted hotel. I'm not even gonna say anything. I haven't made it a minute in. I don't have the right. I don't have the right to say shit. Gentleman in his seventies passed away weeks before due to natural causes. Here are some clips where you see this person from Florida visiting this hotel and capturing some paranormal activities. It is seen while Clay is explaining how the door keeps shutting itself. Oh man! Oh my God! I'm about to shit my asshole. The door closed. No way! Whoa, god damn! Let's see. Oh my. Oh, wait a second. Is he gonna get into the fucking shower right now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, I don't need to see Clay. Mm. 
He proves no one. Okay, he doesn't get naked. He doesn't get naked. Alright, it's fine. And else being there, I was like, wait a minute. Inside his body I don't want to see this dude's dick, bro. Also proving that the door doesn't budge at all unless it is really forcefully pushed. Being forcefully that pushed? Budge at all. Is that is that forcefully pushed to people? Also proving that the door That's not a forceful push. Come on. Come on. That's a tap, bro. That's not a push. That's a tap. Later he dares the entity to move the door if he wants Clay not coming back in the same room and the entity proves it by closing the door once again leaving Clay shook and scared in the coming clip. One more time, you can close the door, and then I'll leave you alone. Then I'll, I'll leave, and I'll, I'll leave this room to, for a little while. I won't come back if you close that door one more time. I'll I'll leave for a little while. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Watch this. Watch this. What the hell? Motherfucker! I kicked that door right in. Thank you, Jill16. Glad I am back and healthy, dude. Yeah, what are my thoughts on Imori? I haven't played it since I did that stream, but it's it's a it's an interesting game. I just need to get into the mood to play it, you know? I might do it on Twitch sometime. I should play Night Shift. It's a spooky game. I played Late Shift. Big suck. Think out check out Bizarre Bub. Even sets a camera I'll before going to sleep to see whether if something paranormal happens while he's asleep. What happens next was quite unsettling and- Alright, what happens next? I'm, I'm done with this chills knockoff. You can knock clearly off. see the fan moving and turning on and off by itself while he does not notice it. In the next moment, we can slowly see a chair moving towards his bed until it hits it. The fuck? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, calm down there. Have I tried Valheim? I played it with Nexpo, uh, uh, like last weekend, and we got we got to the first boss. Me, Nexpo, and uh, me and Nexpo were playing the fuck out of that game, dude. Extremely hunted. In this episode of theirs, they visit a house which is occupied by a ghost due to which no one could ever live in there. This team considered to give this place a visit and found an extremely All right, let's see what they found, please. Please, God, I hate this fucking commentary, man. I investigating the area around this house and finds the tree that has been cut down, which was popular near this house. It is said that the entities like to hang on trees. Holy shit, just... Just please. This clip after... Just show me the fucking footage, Whoa. thank you. After some investigation, there had already been too many. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm fucking sorry. All right, what? You saw the crackhead and you decided to walk in? Confirming even Man, this, this is, yeah, to... of course it's going to make me scream because I'm looking at fucking stupidity. By a ghost lady, which appears as a dark black figure. Okay, cool. Dark Hello. black figure. Right. All right, let's see. Under chalte, 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 chalte. Allah! What the fuck? I'm so glad this doesn't happen in America. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm so glad this doesn't happen that much in the States. You go down to Kentucky. <laughs> you fucking put you put a bullet in that crackhead right there, dude. God damn. To be honest, this was like fucking Texas, though. Motherfucker. Be, you don't just sit in the corner like that. You get shot, dude. I'm telling you. Everyone's str fucking babies come out strapped out there, dude. Let me tell you. God damn. Actually, no. This does happen in America. It happens at the fucking meth lab. <laughs> Consider PS1 and PS2 a generational leap. Would you agree it's fair to say PS4 is what PS3 should have been? Um, PS4 was still a pretty fucking good leap, though. Let's be real. PS4 was one like they added more threats to systems. Um, they started, like, PS4 had some generational, like, de de defining games. You gotta understand, like, games like Rainbow Six Siege, like, when those games came out with the exploding walls and shit, and, like, how much they were calculating, that's, like, what Next Gen was all about. I mean, you can't say that, like, like a game like Red Dead Redemption 2 could never have been fucking done on the PS3 general. Let's be real. I, I think, I think it's a fair jump, you know? 
Uh, PS3, though, was fucking a little ahead of its time. Let's be real. There are games that don't look half as good as Metal Gear Solid 4 do these days. I mean, let's be real. PS3 is fucking good. Um, it definitely was ahead of its time. But let's not let's not rag on PS4. PS4 was a great generation. Like, those are some good some good times. Do I plan on homebrewing? I have a homebrew Switch, so I do definitely homebrew. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. In the final clip, they hear what sounds like a woman screaming from a distance if we hear closely in the final coming clip. Yeah. It sucks that PS3s aren't backwards compatible, like, at all. Once they're gone, it's gonna suck, dude. Channel name if I were a woman, I'd be popular? For being one of the best I don't know, I mean, I think people follow for the personality and shit. His camera for his fans. In this episode of his, he spent his time... God, dude, I can't with the commentary. The commentary, it's like, listen, I'm not here to rag on the person because I think it's fucked up. But it's like, it's like, it feels like when I'm listening to the commentary here, it's like they want to be fucking, like, they, they, they watch chills. And they have, they want to be chills. Like, that's what they think is the, like, thing to success. When chills is chills, they should be them, you know? Like, what the fuck, you know? Like, it's like, I want their personality. I don't want you to copy someone's personality, in, in my opinion. It, it just feels like they're trying to be a knockoff than being themselves. Here in the coming clip. What in the world is Follow me because I'm hot. Ooh. <laughs> okay. After continuing his investigation, CJ reaches a bar and hears weird squeaking sounds all over. Sure, let's listen to the squeaking sounds. <gasps> Dog, you hear shit like that, you get out. You get out right there and then. You get out, okay? Damn! Damn! I'll be honest with you, the, the, this whole channel, like, that I got sent to, it's really fucking boring. Like, this is, like, I don't know, the videos that they find, just, like, this is the thing, these aren't scary videos, dude. Like, this isn't scary shit. Like, this isn't really scary content, in my opinion, I'm just saying. Like, these people should play P- They literally took PT. They took PT as a thumbnail. You see that shit? They took PT right there. Aw, oh, dude. Dude, that is just, that's mean. You don't just do that. You don't do that. Who sent this? The last ghost hunter, the Indian ghost hunting channel. Like, this guy led me down. Their videos are very interesting. Well, we know that one was a fucking lie, by the way. This channel is very interesting. This channel is totally in English language. If you are English speaking or not, it doesn't matter. You can support this channel so that you can make better and better content. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sure. Today we take a look at channel name Amy Script who likes to explore. Dude just like straight ripped it from her section. Cool. Oh, there it is. There it is. Whoa. Okay, let me listen to it. Bro, you don't stay there. You don't. You don't. You bring the taser. Is Hindi half English? No, but English is like. <laughs> Let me tell you something about India, kids. Okay. India is a place where um, there are people that like to appeal a lot to. Um... How should I say this in the most like nice way possible? Uh, over there, trying to look good in front of, like, Gorilog, you know, like, white people and shit, is pretty, is, like, looked upon, okay? Like, this is what they really enjoy. Like, that's something that people want to do. I'm just gonna put that straight up there. Uh, India either has people that are really, like, proud of their country and don't fucking mind, and then there are people that, like, are really materialistic, they really need to, like, fucking look good in front of, like, you know, the American, you know, the, the fucking, the, the first worlders, if you will, right? Uh, Western culture, I guess, is is a nicer way to say it. Um, but uh, it's it's definitely a lot. It's definitely a lot. You know, wild. Uh, you know, it's what it comes down to. 
So the English that you constantly hear is people who want to like show off that they're more intelligent and better. Like to understand in India, speaking English is like some sign that you're crazy intelligent or something. When I personally don't consider speaking English to be that, okay? In India, all right, like uh, it, to be honest with you, uh, I think Hindi is like, if I, if I couldn't speak English, I'd be an Indian YouTuber speaking Hindi 100% like in the other way. And I wouldn't feel ashamed of that. Like, I don't think knowing English is like a fucking, is like a standard of intelligence. You know what I mean? Like English is just another language. Um, but that, that's, that's kind of what you're dealing with. Okay. It's like a show off, right? It's like fucking, it, a lot of people over there are willing to give up their culture to look more Western in comparison. When in reality, it's like, you should be proud of who you are no matter where you live, right? Like you th like if somebody says it's just a language, but like y you and me think that, right? But like they don't. <laughs> like it's kind of weird. Um but that's what it comes down to, you know? Like it's it's a, it's a little it's a little insane. It's a little insane. Uh however, English is also a required component sometimes because India also has like 80, 90 languages, like not even fucking with you. Um uh, so, so like, if you, if you go south, you, Hindi's not going to carry you all the way through. You're going to need to know some Like, English will bring you together, even if it's shitty-sounding English. Like, even if it's, like, broken-as-fuck English, it'll, like, at least let you talk to, like... if you, Like, if, you, if you're a Hindi speaker and you go down to, like, like Tamil Nadu, like, Tamil lands, and, like, you try speaking, like, Tamil, like, or whatever, you try speaking that language, it's not possible. Like, you're fucked. Um, <laughs> Hindi, like, Hindi is a, like... It, India... I think Hindi is like the actual like national language, if I'm not mistaken, but um, it's definitely not the most widely spoken. There's parts of India where you go to where they don't speak Hindi at all. Like when I speak Hindi, like that's that's the language my people have come from, right? Like my region of India. You go down south and shit. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> you go north from where my family came from. They speak Punjabi. That's completely different sounding. Like, I can't even understand that. My mom and dad understand it just fine. They can speak it. I don't fucking know it. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> not me, dude. Not me. <laughs> it's insane, dude. It's kind of, it's, it's wild. It, it, it is wild. Uh, it's not, it's one of the official languages. Like, India has, like, a several, like, Urdu is one of the official languages. Marathi. Uh, Tamil is. Uh punjabi obviously but like man it's fucking it is something dude it is something punjabi yeah punjabi like people who are from like punjab they have their own like style of like they have their own language straight up it's fucking it's it's there like my parents can speak it but like when i when they start like when we were kids <laughs> you know how like some parents would speak in like pig latin you know what i mean to like hide whatever they were saying from their parents. My parents used to speak Punjabi to each other to like prevent me and my brother from like understanding like them. Like they would say the dirtiest fucking shit to each other and like memes when they when we were younger. <laughs> and like fucking they would speak that so we couldn't understand it. We're like what the fuck? This is insane. I don't even understand it to this day. <laughs> Ever been to countries in the Middle East like Jordan, Palestine? I've been to Saudi Arabia, um Dubai, but you know. I don't really go a lot to that part of the world. Um, nice fit. Thank you, Ace Drinks. Yeah, my parents uh, used to used to speak different languages just to just to make sure we couldn't hear them go, you know, do whatever. Now that I think about it, it was wild, too, because I'm pretty sure like this is before my brother was born. So they were just like fucking straight talking about how great of like how awesome they like fucked last night or whatever. And, like, they spoke it in Punjabi. And I keep remembering what they said. So they were, like, really fucking dirty. Like, they were dirty talking to each other like crazy in front of fucking me. Because this was before my brother was born. So they were like, yeah, dude, I fucking railed you, Lamau. <laughs> like, in, in Punjabi. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, it's just fuck. It's just breakfast or shit. And they're going at it. <laughs> like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> they didn't fucking care, though. They did, they did not care at all. <laughs> They, they didn't care. They didn't, they didn't care, though. It was, it was insane. <laughs> it was so fucking wild, because, like, this is when I was really young. Like, I had to be, like, five or something at that point, right? Uh, and, my, and my fucking... <laughs> and, my, and my mom and dad were like, you'd like a, you know, you'd like to have a sibling? I was like, oh, yeah, I'd love to have a sibling. I'd love to have a little brother, because I was, like, a kid and shit. And my mom was like, well, you better pray for a sibling. And they would, like, look at each other, like, 
Yeah, dude. <laughs> they're about they were they're like looking at each other like fucking they were ready to fuck right there, dude. It's crazy. It's fucking insane. <laughs> they, they were like, we gotta we gotta fucking practice our multiplication tables. <laughs> And that that's how that's how my brother fucking came, dude. That's how he came about. I guess I must have prayed a lot. <laughs> they didn't fucking tell me that though. They didn't tell me that shit. I think the best was like the birds and the bees. So like fucking around the time of fourth grade is when we had sex ed class, and like fucking like my my like I had a, I had a consent form. You had to get a consent form signed back in the day to like learn about sex, right? So like, cause they were gonna show you videos about puberties and penises and vaginas and all this shit. So I, I remember getting the consent form and I came home and like my dad, you know, who's like a doctor and shit, he looked at that consent form. He was like, oh hell no, they're not gonna teach you about sex. Cause, cause he like, when, when the teacher, cause like it would tell the teacher's name right at the top. And I'm not gonna name the teacher cause somebody may find her. But, like, my dad looked at the name of the teacher. I'm like, like, the first thing he was like, she hasn't had sex in decades. She can't teach you about sex. What the hell? Like, and then my dad was like, all right, let's talk about the birds and the bees. Okay, I'm going to tell you this right now so they don't fill your head with some stupidity. <laughs> so, like, fucking, I was like, all right. All right, shit. It was insane, though. My, my dad, my dad was an asshole. Cause uh, that that's just that's just how it was back in the day, man. It's just how that's just how it came down to, you know. He was like, man, I'm a. <laughs> it's like that person hasn't had sex in decades. What are you talking about? <laughs> how how how's she gonna tell you about sex? How's she gonna tell you about fucking? It doesn't work that way. <laughs> so my dad taught us, like, well, not us. He taught me at the time, and then that was pretty much what it was, you know. My dad's like, oh, puberty is, you know, fucking when, you when you're when you becoming a man. You know, when your voice sounds like dog shit and you're growing hair everywhere. Because then, like, I would tell my dad about it because we watched... I'm, okay, we watched this one video in sex ed class that was like... I swear, one of the quotes was this. The kid was like, am I becoming a werewolf? One of my testicles is... No, what was it? One of my, te one of my boobs is heavier than the other boob. Is that okay? And, like, my dad literally told me, it's like, yeah, it's... That's puberty, kid. All right? You're growing up to be a man. <laughs> my mom didn't join the party. You know, she was she wasn't joining in. And my dad's... Like, I asked my dad that. I was like, why is one boob heavier than the other? It's like, because she's developing. Okay? That's how sick... And then he would get pissed because he's like, I don't understand that. I don't I don't get... What are the kids... What are they teaching you? Like, do they know about sex ed? Can I go in and teach? Like, he was super tilted about it back then. Because, like, I guess my dad was like, they're not even teaching you what it is. Like, bro, what the fuck? Werewolves and, and breast weights? Like, what's wrong with this class? So that, that's what happened, dude. Like, like, that's what it comes down to, you know? Like, obviously, now I don't know what classes like nowadays, um, like at all, but I'm, do they still make you sign a consent form? Probably. Probably. Well, that's what we did, dude. I mean, growing up in the fourth grade, it was a wild. And then the drugs were a fucking insane thing, too. Oh, man, we had, like, the most asshole teachers. So we had a couple bad eggs in the class, right? Like, a couple wild kids. So <laughs> when we were learning about drugs, like, not to take drugs, the teacher would be like, so you all know cigarettes are bad, right? I know some of you kids probably know a whole lot about cigarettes, huh? <sighs> like, super, super passive aggressive. I'm just like, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Easter egg calling out the kid in the corner over there who's smoking a pack. What's wrong here? You want to know, though? Drugs are bad. I wish people were just honest about drugs. I wish people just told you that drugs, like... Like, okay, you know, when you do shit like cocaine, heroin, and all this kind of stuff, it's bad for you. You should never fucking touch it. It's super terrible, okay? It's bad. Don't do drugs, kids. Drugs are fucking bad. I wish parents were just honest. My dad told me drugs were for losers. That's what he told me. My dad would tell me fucked up shit. My dad told me when he first became a doctor, like his first thing was an emergency like doc. So he would be the doc in the emergency ward. And he told me fucked up shit. It's like, don't do drugs. Because I've seen people come in with like coke overdoses, like heroin overdoses. That shit's fucked up. My dad told me just don't do it. My dad literally told me, it's like, the last thing you want to do is end up in a hospital because, like, there's a pretty good chance you're going to die from that overdose. And then, like, my dad literally told me, it's like, 
you don't you don't you know like my dad told me the worst experience he ever had like the worst experiences was like actually losing lives like in in the ever because like there are people who come in and they're dead and shit like they're dying like they're on the verge of pretty much dying you can't you can't save them it's just too far gone and my dad's like you know it's it's like it's fucked up because you have to like notify their families and shit and it's like it just shouldn't have been that way like my dad says he hates fucking like drugs he's like don't, don't do it and it was back in the day like my dad told me like you have also synthetic drugs and the synthetic drugs fuck you up even harder so it's like you just don't do it just don't do drugs my dad told me like the worst things ever because back in the day my dad was like there's like hard drugs like coke heroin you just don't do them all right my dad told me like marijuana he told me like this is what he told me about marijuana he's like it's a plant all right he's like it's kind of a gateway okay because once you do marijuana you might start jumping up to a stage higher but he told me like it's not as bad because my dad was like it's like my dad like gave me a tier list pretty much he's like listen i used to smoke a lot of cigarettes in college shit's bad for you he's like weed bad for you alcohol 10 times worse than fucking weed somehow that's legal <laughs> It used to be it used to be a wild thing back in the day man i'm telling you drug drugs were insane but uh that's where we came down to man that's that's how that's how that's how it pretty much jumped into but uh yeah that's uh that's how the whole story played out he didn't say things about psychedelics it never it never went to the point where we talked about lsd and shrooms and shit because he just never cared but he was just like don't do drugs drug drugs are stupid i feel like i should bring him in for a video now <laughs> just so we can like have a drug tier list together that'd be fun i'm gonna read some of these last uh super chats and probably hit to bed actually muda thank you kyle wolf mr muda along linux engineer for a living red hat and soft handle well red hat is where i fucked around with too so we are one and the same imagine they come up to you now and ask you and your brother want a new sibling my parents fuck around a lot and say that they're like, well, I'm my mom's like, I can still have kids. And I'm like, mom, if you make me a sibling, that's like 27 years old and different. She like laughs at it. She's like, I'm just literally fucking with you. We actually just had that in the family. We literally just had it in the family. where like a fucking relative of ours have like kids with the 25 year age gap. My mom's like, what the fuck? I was like, that's wild. Can't can't like what? <laughs> it's insane. I guess it happens. I just got a PC and he must play games on Steam. Death Stranding, I enjoyed. I've been a fan of the Deep Web series. Thank you, Amanda. Nice stream. Speaking of internet scams, I finished a five month long war with a few dark web goons and I officially awarded one of the stupidest criminals of the year award. <laughs> Need to know the story to that. God damn. Have you ever worked with a type one hypervisor? Yeah, uh, KVM. Same thing. Remember the store stood up against the BMW bully. <laughs> BMW owners get shit on unknowingly, man. When I was in the fifth grade, I smothered poo in the ceiling. <laughs> Muda built like a cheese grater. Ask your dad if you ever drank bang in India, the weed smoothie. Oh, bung? No. Gr shit grows, though. I'm smoking dank right now. Good for you, man. I never got the birds and the bees. I thought God was pulling a cruel joke. <laughs> you know? Love you, Muda. Oldest sibling is 12 years older than me. And thank you, perfectionist. I love you, Papa. Thank you. I love you too, son. Good night, motherfucker. Enjoy the stream. Stay safe and don't do the devil's lettuce. Well, everyone, I'm going to end the stream. Take care. And uh, I hope to see you all later. Thank you, Omar, again. Some relatives thought my parents were weird. They only had two kids. Hey, man. Sometimes two kids is, is all. It's, it's whatever God gives you, right? Anyways, take care, everyone. Sleep well. I'm going to head out.